as I'm kind of cruising around with my trolling motor, kind of zigzagging up and down the brake over flats, using side imaging, 360 imaging, looking for changes, right? Either sand or rock or boulder transitions and I'm just kind of feeling out where the fish are and whether they're up top on the edges. I'm just kind of looking for them with a swim bait, kind of slow rolling it, keeping it near the bottom. It's just the puzzle that is fishing that we're just trying to work through right now. And it's been interesting as I'm kind of cruising around this flat, up and down the breaks, up on top, seeing a lot of fish, seeing some smallmouth, seeing a lot of walleyes, more so up on top. I mean, a little three and a half inch swim bait, slow rolling, a real confidence bait for me that I'm gonna just keep chucking. And it's a fun bait to fish. You just cast it out, let it hit the bottom and slow roll it back. I actually hired my son out fishing this weekend. He's five and tie one of these on and he's catching great big bass. It's just a riot. But it's also a bait that I use and, and a lot of professional fishermen are gonna use day in and day out. It's, it just catches fish. Walleyes like swim baits. Look at that. <laughs> They're eating it. The ease of fishing a swim bait is one awesome aspect to these. There's really no wrong way to fish it. You can rip it, kind of yo-yo it up and down swim it halfway down or on the bottom. One retrieve that I've had a lot of success with is just slow rolling it, where you cast it out, let it hit the bottom, and reel it just fast enough to keep it within a foot or so of the bottom. And every now and then through my retrieve, I'll drop it, give the bait slack, just to make sure I'm maintaining bottom contact or you know, in case the depth changed a little bit, but keeping it within a foot or so of the bottom and just slow rolling it, is a dynamite way to catch just about everything that swims. Like the 360. 